to the regression results, we've got the coefficient. Negative coefficient, coefficient shows that an independent variable x, it changes. The variable y will change in the opposite direction. So if we have it a negative number, it means they go in two different directions. This one increase, the other one's going to decrease. If it's a positive, it shows that they go in the same direction. If it's negative, they go in an opposite direction. Regression coefficients are used to compute the elasticity. So if it's a big number, it means small change, big change. If it's a, a, a very uh, a low number, it means a big, small, you know, a change, a small change. What do you mean by low? What's the, what's yeah, let's say uh, if we look at this example here, you know, this number here, it is 0.83. So if there is, uh, if, if X increase by one, you know, if, if whatever this uh, increase by one, the predicted variable is going to increase by 0.83. Do you see? If it's if it is uh, like here, you know, 32. So we've got one more dollar, one more uh, dollar here. 32 dollars will increase in the other side. Here it will be the negative. Uh, one dollar more there, two dollars less. Okay. Uh, and then we've got the t-test. Uh, it's, uh, it's a statistical significance of each estimated coefficient. Why it's important to look at the t-test? Because we can do a regression analysis and it means nothing. And that's the example in which one of these cases, all of these are significant, right? And we can use the rule of two. Any one of all of these numbers are above two. And of course, don't worry about the sign. But these are all above two, so they're all significant. But maybe if I do another regression, let me to do another regression where uh, we, we can see that uh, we will have something that is insignificant. Uh, if I do this number, I'll use just part of the data and, uh, and see how that's going to work. Uh, if I click OK, OK, let's see if this is going to... Uh, did I use the same thing or no? Uh, this is the amount of X's. All right. Ranges cannot overlap. Oh, okay, so this is why. Okay. Say okay if this is going to do. All right. So this is another regression analysis. And then this regression analysis, uh, we can see here, uh, we've got some p-values that is b above 0.05. For example, this SMS based on the data selected, it is not significant. So this number may be come by luck, okay? Maybe by a complete chance it happened to be, but it's not, you know, there is a big chance, there is actually 35% chance this number come from random, which is a big percentage, do you see? Compared with this one here, only 1% chance this number here is coming out of uh, randomness. Okay, I mean, and you can see this number, you can see this number is below two. Remember the rule of two? Yeah, so the t-test is below two, but all of these are above two. So they are significant. See, this one is above two, but it is, you know, 0 0.08. So if you use the rule of two, you will accept it. If you use the 0.505%, you will reject it. And uh, that's how you use it. What's your question, uh, Ramzi? Uh, we can accept it up to 5%. You know, 0 0.05 is good because you're, you know, 5% chance. And if you do statistics, you will know the significance of this number. Why it's a magic number? Uh, because uh, it is more than two standard, you know, three standard deviations. Yeah, give you 95% confidence. Okay. So, uh, what, what, whether, whether the coefficient is significantly different from these zero. So, uh, B is the estimated coefficient, and we have SE, which is the standard error. Okay, so that's, and then this is how you calculate the T. You get the B estimated divided by standard error. Okay. Statistical evaluation of the regression analysis. So the rule of two uh, is the absolute value. Remember, we use absolute because it can be positive or negative. It doesn't matter. As long as it's two, if it's greater, uh, then we estimated it's significant at the 5% uh, level for larger samples. But now if it's a small sample, Maybe you need to use the t-table. So maybe in our example, 
uh, you know, it wasn't very clear the rule of two because we had a small sample. But if you get a huge sample, you always get more uh, accuracy. And then now we've got if coefficient passes the t-test, the variable has a significant impact on demand. Uh, statistical evaluation of regression, we've got R squared. Now, what does R squared mean? It means the percentage of variation in the variable Y accounted for by the variation in all explanatory variables. So the X, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are explaining Y. So how much are they explaining of Y? The R squared. In our case, R squared is 95%. It means these predictors can help us explain 95% of the variation in Y. Yeah, it's more, uh, it's more or less about the explanatory power of the regression. Can it, is it powerful to explain or it's not powerful to explain? Okay. And it's always a zero between a number between a zero and a one. The closer to one, the better explanatory power. And the closer to zero, it means, you know, it doesn't really explain anything. So maybe you want to find some other alternatives to explain.